go through injuries real quick, and then I'm going to turn it over to Rick for a minute. Uh, Donnie Avery uh, has a shoulder confusion. He went through the walkthrough. We're going to see about practice today. Um, and then, uh, but he is feeling better compared to what he was during the game. Jamal uh, still has blisters on his toes. They, uh, you know, I'm, that's a that's a tough thing to deal with. He went through the walkthrough. Um, probably going to sit him for practice um, just until those things you get him calm down a little bit. Fazano will not practice, did not go through the walkthrough, the knee strain. He's making progress, but isn't there yet. So, um, uh, Travis Kelsey is the one that, that Rick's going to talk to. Justin Houston, I mentioned before, um, and, and Justin uh, is making progress. He won't practice today, but kind of took a hit to the neck area in here and, and uh, we'll just see how he does here in the, you know, in the next year. But he feels great. I mean, he feels great right now. They're not. Necessary symptoms. We're just making sure we take care, take care of business. From we're actually going to talk to you about Travis Kelsey real quick. All right, thanks, Coach. Um, with, with, with Travis, so you know, Travis had an ongoing knee problem, and um, it goes all the way back to training camp. When we first did an MRI there, he had a hit a bone bruise in his knee, and as every time we tried to progress him through the rehab or get him back out on the field, he had a setback. We did. Uh, a few more MRIs and, and it just kept showing the bone bruise and every time he would feel pretty good he'd have a little setback and so at um, about two weeks ago Dr. Uh, Chris Barnhouse had discussed with uh, Travis that that he that he may have something more going on in the joint that didn't show up on MRI so we, we did a little bit more course of treatment held him out of the ball games tried to move him around in rehab and and basically in rehab when he would do some of the rehab things and run, he was okay. Once he got down into his football stance, he struggled to come in and out of his stance. So um, ye uh, yeah, yesterday, Dr. Barnhouse finally did an arthroscopic surgery on, on his knee, and he did find that he had this spot in his cartilage, in his um, articular cartilage, so in his, at the end of his femur bone, and it didn't show up on MRI, but when he went in on, uh, with the scope, he could see it, and that spot in his knee, which is in a non-weight-bearing area, and that's why he, he could run without pain but couldn't get in and out of his stance, that needed to have a microfracture procedure. So right now, he's, he just came back to us today for rehab. We'll start the rehab. We'll let uh, John Dorsey and Coach Reed decide what, what his future is with the team in, in terms of this year and, and, and practices and games, and we'll continue to rehab and try to get that knee quieted down. Is there any questions? I know that's a little complicated and it's been going on since Is there a chance tonight. you could miss the rest of the season? Yeah, I think any time you, know, you, you have knee surgery, there's that chance. And, and we'll keep advising um, John and, and Coach on, on his progress and see what they want to do. Rick, is there a chance this is career-threatening to him? Um, you know, anytime you have injuries, you worry about that stuff. But I, I wouldn't classify it as that. I think this is things that th this is an injury that people get better from. He's a young guy. He's got a good, healthy knee. and. Um, you know, honestly, we, we've protected him. He's protected himself, so we didn't do any more damage to him, and, and, and that gives him the best chance to come back and have a great career. Is this right. kind of a rare thing? No, it's, it's not rare. The, the rarity in it is that we didn't see it on MRI, but that happens sometimes. You know, everybody in the, in the, in the world thinks that MRI is the, the telltale answer to everything, and it's not always, and that's why you have to go with your – you know how he does in rehab and how he you know does he swell up does he does it go away can he do this can he do that and then you use the expertise of your athletic trainers and, and your doctor to make a good decision in this case it took us you know some time to, to feel our way through it but the right decision was to do a scope and, and find out what he's got now we got him fixed up and we'll, we'll go forward with it any other right. players come back from that, that oh yeah uh, there, there's players in the league that have this all right that's Thank it you. thanks Okay, uh, listen, we, we look forward to the challenge of, of playing the, the Oakland Raiders, and uh, um, our football team understands the rivalry and, and um, the significance of that. Uh, it's also very important that, uh, with that said, uh, that you make sure that you take care of the fundamentals and, and uh, the game plan, uh, learning the game plan. So uh, the guys are going to do that. They're going to focus in today and, and make sure that uh, we get that part accomplished. Uh, We'll, we'll play the game uh, on Sunday, right? So, uh, and, and uh, the guys have done a nice job of that up to this point. So, time's yours. But they marked yeah. injuries for a second. Uh, what, what is the what is your determination in Kelsey and whether he can play anytime soon or this year? 
Yeah, well, listen, we're, we're going to give it a little time. We've done it. We've done that to this point, and so uh, there's there's nothing lost there. Just to give it some time, and, and then Doris and I will, uh, you know, continue meet with Rick and the docs, and we'll just see. But I'm just glad. Listen, I'm glad for the kid that, that he, he was able to get fixed up, and he's going to have a nice long career. It's a shame that, that it happened, but um, you know, the procedure it happens. I've I've been there personally with knees. I, I I've got the picture. I understand how it works, and. Uh, so I, I'm just glad that he's okay and, and he's going to have a nice recovery and be able to play with play the game in which he loves to play. No plans at this point to put him on IR. <clears throat> well, we'll see. I, you know, we'll just see. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have to do anything right this minute. So, as far as Justin Houston, you determined there's no concussion there. Well, the, the, he's going through all that protocol, and uh, so far he's been clear of uh, any signs there of that. So that, that's a that's a plus. Uh, but we're taking him through that whole protocol on that, and, um, and, and just making sure, you know. And uh, the kids, the kids are doing a nice job, and we, we don't want to do anything to jeopardize him at all right now. So we're taking him through all of that. And, uh, we'll see how it all works out here. Andy, the story the last couple of days has been Tony Gonzalez. Do you guys have an interest in him? Uh, I, you know, you can't even. That's not even. He's on another team, right? So he, there's not. That's not even a. I don't even know where that came from, you know, really. So I, and it, it's got to end now because you know, there's nothing there. <laughs> if, Avery, I'm sorry. Go ahead. if Avery is out or limited, then it's just time for AJ to, to step up? Yeah, AJ got some reps in, in the game. So, uh, uh, you know, when Donnie wasn't able to go and, and uh, did a nice job, so that would be the case. I think Donnie's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, that's what you saw that in the game. So, it, I mean, nothing. Is AJ's command of the playbook all there now? I mean, is he, is he yeah, he's totally doing a good assimilated job. in. Yeah, he's doing a good job. You know, he's working, working on that every day. I mean, that's uh, uh, these guys that came in a little bit late, later in the, in the picture here. That's that's not an easy thing for him. But he's a smart guy, and he's picking. Coach, you talk about the rivalries. Why are rivalries important to you? Well, you know, you start when you're you're in the little league. I mean, you have rivalries there, and then it goes into high school. You have rivalries, college. You have rivalries, and then. There are a few of those in the National Football League that are, that are pretty good. Well, this is one of those. I mean, this is uh, uh, just it's an exciting sport, but it adds even a little bit more excitement, right? So, I mean, that's just how it goes. And normally these things take place with the time. Uh, there, there's things that have gone on in the past and the history and all that that, that go into it. But, but listen, the bottom line is you, you got to make sure that you prepare yourself as a football team. That's what you have to do. You, you've got to kind of put that part aside for right now and get yourself right. Uh, Make sure you understand the game plan. When you're stepping into one, do you go back and check out the history to make sure you're fully aware of it? Well, I'm a bit of a history buff anyway. I, mean, I enjoy that, so uh, I know I got the picture. Do you think we're going to fire these guys up differently this week? Or no, I don't, I don't think you have to do it. I don't think you have to do it. You put on some black, black and silver and come on. Does the history of the fact that they've dominated the Chiefs? Arrowhead the last six years. Does yeah, that, listen, does that I, shock I, you, everyone? Yeah, I, I try not to look back on that, on that part of it. I, I, you know, that's, uh, I don't go there. I, I try to keep that in the last few years. You just keep, keep moving forward and do, do your thing and uh, get yourself right to play and, and go from there. As the season goes on, would you like to have less wear and tear on Jamal? Is he getting too much work at this point? Well, it, you, you've seen us ease in. Uh, now, I mean, it's just it, he's a young kid, so we're, we're giving him a little bit more and a little bit more, and, and, um, and that's I think that's good. Um, and, and, and to say wear and tear, running backs, this, this is kind of their deal. I mean, I'm not sure you ever quit. You feel right after the you, first game, you're passing. Do you, you count to touches, hits? I mean, how do you how do you monitor whether a guy's yeah, taking too much? Of, well, you just kind of go off and know the guy and, and make sure you. Communication there. How much, how much can he take? I mean, what, what can he, what, he's not the biggest guy in the world. What can yeah. he, well, I think he, he's, he's handling it pretty good. Yeah. This has this is his, his feet. This is a different. It's not his. It's not the joints or that. His feet are a mess. I mean, that's uh, that, that's unusual. But he, his feet are a mess. He's got blisters. I mean, that's what he did. He's doing that. It's not a joint. You know, it's you know, the blisters come. You know, so. Coach, when you look at the Raiders, what do you see from their defense on tape? Well, I'll tell you, they're, they're flying around. They're, 
I think they have a really good football team. And, uh, um, you know, they've got a quarterback that is a tremendous player and guys around him that are good football players. And then they've got a defense that uh, flies around and is aggressive. And, and their head coach is football is a good head coach. He, he was a great defense coordinator before he, before he was a head coach. So um, he knows what he's doing. That's to the rest of their coaches. So they got a good solid staff there and good players. So uh, they got a good football team. You mentioned the difficulty can be for some of these guys who joined late to uh, get in things. How amazed, how remarkable it is that you've had four or five of these guys join you three days before your first game have contributed to the way they have? Uh, listen, I tribute to the kids for, for studying and paying and learning and, and, and to the coaches for teaching. So it's uh, and Doris for bringing these guys in, right? In history. So it's uh, a lot of things that are involved in that, but I'm proud of the guys for, for executing the way that they have to play. It was almost the second draft point. I mean, really, your your first, your first look on I just kind of looked off that. I thought, yeah, it was good. It was, it was, it was a, we had some good. Know, you are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you are beautiful. You are the best. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, Done the shoes and the socks and all that. He, he just, he's got, he's got a little bit of a mess. That's all right. He'll, he'll, he'll be okay. What's Eric Fisher's <clears throat> situation? Mark will be back. He'll be back yeah, practice. He, he did the walkthrough of practice. And noise, you're used to it being noisy there. Have you going for a record in noise this weekend? Are you considering your points at all? No, I'm not. Uh, that was fine. That was a I got it. I'm with you. <laughs> I got you. Randy? Uh, I'm dog, yeah. <laughs> Help me. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I, listen, I, we, we appreciate that, that support. I mean, number one, and it's loud. I mean, I don't know how much louder it can get than, than what it's been. I, it's, uh, it's incredible. So it's a great atmosphere. Football. 